from Eyewitness News, this is 13 Investigates. And tonight, 13 Investigates is getting a lot of results. Some central Indiana homeowners had no idea that a cancer-causing chemical was inching closer and closer to their city's water supply. Even the mayor didn't know the cleanup efforts had stalled until investigative reporter Sandra Chapman started asking some questions. Well, tonight, Sandra has plans for the removal of one dangerous exposure while critics say work at one of the state's largest cleanup sites may not go far enough. Children play in it. I've seen children play in it. It's contaminated. Warnings posted along Pleasant Run Creek in Garfield Park alert visitors. Sewer overflows could make people sick. But 13 Investigates has discovered it's not the only threat lurking in the creek. IDEM, the Indiana Department of Environmental Management, says it's at risk of contamination from chemical solvents and petroleum flowing from one of the state's largest voluntary cleanup sites, the old citizens coke plant. You really should stay out of the Pleasant Run Creek water. For nearly 100 years, the plant produced a fuel used in industry. In 2007, it shut down, leaving behind an environmental mess. Now a decade into the cleanup, inspectors discovered hazardous contaminants leaching through retaining walls and into Pleasant Run. The sheen shows up blue, black stuff oozing out of the bank. Dick Van Frank is a retired biologist and knows what to look for. He snapped these photos years ago and sent them to IDEM as evidence of contaminants floating from the facility and into the creek. Contractors hired by citizens are now digging up contaminated soil along the banks, but only on its site. For now, there's no specific plan to remove contaminants off-site. It currently does not pose a threat to human health, but it does have a potential for ecological impacts. Last September, IDEM asked for additional soil samples, warning visual inspections are not adequate and questioning correlations between the observation of tar and the threat to human health and the environment. But citizens and its cleanup consultant dug in their heels, saying further excavation is not planned or anticipated until a future plan is submitted. In other words, they'll get to it later. It's spreading, and once it gets off of the VRP site, then it's no longer their responsibility. Van Frank is concerned about delays in cleanup, the same kind 13 investigates uncovered at other voluntary remediation sites across the state. As part of the voluntary program, companies agree to clean up their messes and in exchange get protection from lawsuits. But we found communities put at risk by leaching chemicals, while the companies who promised to clean them up didn't. Worse yet, in some cases, IDEM didn't take any enforcement action for decades. It's the, the citizens of Indiana that are bearing the brunt of the failure of that program. And what's the point of having the rules if they aren't going to enforce them? Shanna Lacey of Tipton had no idea tanks containing a cancer-causing chemical leaked into the ground just a block from her home. Acroline, also known as Integrity, owns the property. Even more concerning, IDEM determined the hazardous substance was an imminent or substantial threat to human health and the environment after discovering the plume threatened one of the city's drinking water wells. I mean, it's my water that I cook with, drink, bathe with. I mean, so that's a little... That's a little concerning. Ten years after enrolling into the state's voluntary cleanup program, Acroline was terminated for failing to substantially comply with the terms of the remediation. You would think the state would be a little more forceful. If it's a potential danger, you need to clean this up. One year after Acroline was terminated from the voluntary remediation program, its insurers came to a settlement and agreed to clean up the contamination before it reached here, the city's municipal water well. But for three years, nothing happened until we start asking questions. Your call made us aware brought our attention to the matter. Tipton Mayor Don Haven says he had no idea the cleanup work had not been completed. The company's attorney told 13 Investigates the insurance settlement lapsed because the insurers could not find a bank that would control the cleanup. The banks, he says, don't want to assume liability for all costs. But just one week after we spoke with attorney Frank Duvall, the parties reached a new agreement. Remediation would start as early as June. But we're pleased to hear that any remediation that might be required 
to satisfy IDEM is in fact going to take place. Duvall concedes our investigation was the spark. So to that extent, we're appreciative of the help. We'll be glad to get this issue resolved to the safety of all of our water users. So far, testing has revealed no contamination at the Tipton City well. As for the old coke plant site in Indianapolis, Citizen says it's awaiting comments from IDEM on its final remediation steps for the gas supply area. Now, Citizen says it plans to remove excessive coal tar from the creek next summer, and we expect to hear from IDEM within the coming weeks.